A New Age Concept of Time by Benjamin Crumb's Master, The Master Speaks, Volume 1, Page 1. A much-needed change in the life of humanity will come about when the concept of time has undergone a transformation. Today, most people think of time as an ongoing process, linking moments of action, whereas in truth, time is not a process, but a state of mind. When we see this, we will transform our lives and enter into an altogether closer understanding of reality. A wonderful new freedom will become man's, and no longer dogged by the limitation of time, he will soar into his birthright. How is this to be achieved? At present, most of us are confined within the rigid framework of our daily activities. The means of living has to be earned. Decisions have to be taken into relation to others' needs. A constant battle goes on against the clock and the remorseless passage of time. There is little hope within our present modes of living of any fundamental shift in our understanding of time. Now, for the first time in history, the possibility arises for a completely new experience of that phenomenon, and social transformation is the key to this desirable happening. When humanity is one, in fact, and in truth, time will disappear. When man approaches life from the inner creative standpoint, time will lose its hold over our minds and thus free us from its tyranny. All of this requires a new assessment of man's place in the universe and the establishment of a truer rapport with the source of our being. It has become customary to speak of time as a passing sequence of events. A new and more correct view of time becomes possible when man takes the steps to align himself with his higher self. This achieved, the way is opened for a truer understanding of cyclic activity and non-activity, and thus of time. Such a correct understanding is inherent in a correct relationship to our fellow men. For only when the sense of separateness no longer exists can a true realization of cyclic activity come about. A new world order, political and economic, is the essential prerequisite for this truer vision. For the required sense of oneness can be achieved only when harmony and justice prevail. What this means in practical terms is the creation of structures, political, economic, and social, which will bring men together and create the sense of oneness on all planes and in every field. When men see this, they will take the measures to implement the necessary changes and pave the way for the establishment of correct human relations. From that new relationship between men will emerge the conditions on which a new sense of time depends. From the master's viewpoint, time exists only in the sense of cyclic waves of activity followed by non-activity repeated infinitely. He is completely unconditioned by time as sensed in the three worlds of human experience and must make constant adjustments when dealing with his disciples, for instance, in order to accommodate his meaning and intentions into the state of consciousness of those still ensnared by time. Already, signs are appearing that men's minds are beginning to realize the inadequacies of their approach to time. And it will not be long before an intellectual appreciation of this fact becomes more general. Inherent in many of the discoveries of present-day science is the assumption that time is dual, and more and more this will condition men's perception of reality, but only as a result of man's direct awareness of himself as part of an integral whole will a true realization of time be his. When man creates around himself the forms and structures based on unity and brotherhood, essential for that integration to take place, he will stand on the threshold of an entirely new experience of reality from which will flow a steady stream of creativity unlike aught seen before in this world.